Okay, moving right along. We've been talking about recording different transactions and I wanted to mention another scenario that you're gonna come across. I know at the very beginning of this training, we talked about selecting a start date for the bookkeeping of your business. And we haven't really gone back to address all that that involves or how that affects our bookkeeping, I should say. And we're gonna get to that in just a little bit. But because of the start date we select, that does have an effect on transactions that maybe QuickBooks brought in earlier or prior to that date. So maybe you selected January 1st as your start date, or maybe the very first day you were in business. Or in my case, I selected in our example company here, February 1st of 2018 for the start date. And let me show you what I, I mean about transactions prior to that date. We'll come over here first to the credit card account. And you'll notice down here, we're starting our bookkeeping as of February 1st, but there are transactions that QuickBooks brought in prior to that date. Well, what do we do about that? The easiest thing to do and the best thing to do is just to exclude them. So we don't wanna worry about recording them into different categories. It'll just be cleaner and neater if we can get rid of them. So we're gonna select those transactions. Up here, we're gonna select batch. We're gonna ex select exclude. So now those four transactions are no longer down there. We've got a, a clean start date on the transactions that we need to import or categorize, I should say. And those four have been moved over to exclude. Um, I did wanna mention too, every once in a while, excluded transactions will come back to haunt us in the form of bank recs. Most of the time that does not happen. Sometimes it does. If that's happening with you, exclude the transactions and then delete them. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna do that right now with mine, but if these are transactions you know you don't need, it's fine to delete them. Once you delete them, you cannot undo that action. So I would start off by just excluding. But like I said, for some reason, it's really strange. Sometimes when we get to the bank rec feature, it'll start bringing in transactions that we've excluded. So I just wanted to mention that, keep that in mind, but that's how you would handle it. So once again, over here in PayPal, we selected 2-1 as our start date. Oh, I'm sorry, we wanna be, I already excluded those. We wanna be in the for review tab. We selected 2-1 as our start date, but QuickBooks, you know, just because of whatever setting we picked at the beginning or for whatever reason, we've got extra transactions that were brought in. We're gonna come up here and exclude those. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show you here was that when you have transactions that are prior to your start date, don't worry about categorizing or matching them, just simply exclude them and get rid of them. And then we're gonna deal with a few more issues related to your opening balance, your opening start date for your bookkeeping um, in a different video.